Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Fortnite Chapter 2 update. So first of all, we want to make sure that Windows is properly configured. The first thing that you need to do is write game mode here. Open the game mode. Make sure that game mode is at half. Make sure that the game bar is at off. And finally, all those capture, background recording, recorded audio, make sure everything is at off. Second thing is uh, the intelligent standby list cleaner. Download this software if you have less than 60 gig of RAM. Uh, it will help you a lot, honestly, with stuttering. So if you're playing the game and you have a lot of stuttering, this software will be amazing for you. It helped me a lot. Um, Warn Yourself did that, it's the same guy who did DDU, so it's not like a bloatware or something and it's taking a lot uh, low resources on your computer, so download this. I will put the link in my video description. Finally, the last thing that uh, you need to do uh, with the uh, launcher is click on settings, go with Fortnite and apply this additional command line argument. I will put it in my video description, the use all available core, the no texture streaming. You just have to copy paste it there. You click there and you can close it. It will work properly. Last thing that you need to do for your setup is where you install Fortnite. For me, it's my C drive, program files, Epic game, Fortnite, right in the search.exe. So you will have all the launcher for this game. You will have four different F, as you can see over there. So you need to do the same thing for all those F. Click Properties, go to Compatibility. Make sure that you disable full screen optimization and click on the Override IDPI Scaling. Click OK, click OK. You need to do that for all the .exe uh, in your uh, Fortnite. So those four with the F. So that's about it for the Windows setting. Now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. Uh, first off, window mode. Uh, previously, when I was using full screen, I had more FPS than window full screen. And now uh, it seems a bit different. I don't know why. So just test the two different mode because right now I'm getting three FPS more the, than the full screen. So window, window full screen right now is pretty much the way to go for me. So just do your testing over there. Uh, frame rate limit, I'm using the same uh, frame rate. Uh, I'm using the frame rate that will match my Earths on my screen. So for me, I'm playing with a 144 Earths screen. I'm, so I'm using 144 FPS. If you have uh, 60 Earths screen, put 60 FPS over there. For the 3D resolution, uh, this one just use 100%, really important. Uh, if you go lower than that, you will see that your image will go blurry and you will see some pixel. This is more like last resort after all the change that I will show you. If you still don't get your 60, uh, you can go with something like 95%, but honestly, this is more like a last resort. View distance. View distance, I'm playing at medium. You can even use far if you have a good amount of FPS. Uh, don't go with near with this one yes it's really important it gives you a lot of fps but it's a battle royale so you need to need you need to see far in front of you so really important test your medium and far but those one test it at the end so put medium do your all your change look at your fps if you're getting like a stable 60 you can go with far with this Shadows, really important, put this one at off, you will gain like 15% of FPS. If you have a good rig, you can use medium if you want because uh, it can give you uh, an edge. Like for an example, you're going to an house, you're not sure if someone is there, you're seeing the shadows, uh, it can help you. But for sure, if you're playing with a laptop, integrate video card and stuff like that, go with off, it will help you a lot. Anti-aliasing, same thing, use off. Uh, it will give you a lot of FPS, 3% for each bracket. And honestly, the anti-aliasing in this game, I feel like the game is a bit blurry, so I don't like to use anti-aliasing when I'm playing first-person shooter or Fortnite. Uh, for sure, you will have aliasing on object and stuff like that, but still, it's the best way to go uh, for FPS and performance. Texture will depend on your VRAM on your video card. If you have more than 4 gig, you can go with Epic. 3 gig at I. 2 gig at medium and less than 2 gig low. Really important here, I said VRAM. VRAM is on your video card, so make sure that you're looking at that. No, don't look at your RAM on your computer, <laughs> really important. 
Effect and post processing. Put those one at low. You don't want like uh, stuttering or dropping your FPS when you're fighting. So for each bracket over there, you will gain two percent. Uh, so when you put effect and post processing at low, normally you can get eight to ten percent in your uh, for boost from your FPS. V-Sync, I'm putting this one at off. I don't like input lag, so I don't use V-Sync. But if you're getting like crazy amount of screen tearing, you should probably use your uh, V-Sync at on if you don't have a G-Sync or Free Sync monitor. Motion blur, I never use that in any game. I don't like the effect. <laughs> so uh, if you're uh, if you like the effect, play with it. But normally you don't play an FPS or a shooter with this. Uh, show FPS. This one, you, you, as you can see right now on top left on my screen, I'm using MSI Afterburner to see my number of FPS. If you don't use a software like that, use the one that Fortnite will provide you. So put this one at off, uh, at on, sorry. And you can compare when you do stuff. I don't know, for example, you're removing your shadow. You can test the different like amount of FPS. Okay, it's working well. Nah, it's not good. So this is pro um, an option that you can use when you want to test. The last one is Allo multi trade rendering. This one, it's a bit tricky. Uh, you need to put this one at off if you have less than four cores and eight thread on your CPU. So if you have like, I don't know, an i7 7700K, put this one at off. If you have six core and 12 threads and more, you need to put this one at on. So for example, you have the new Ryzen 3600X. You should definitely use on for this parameter and if, even if you have like a crazy computer 3900X from uh, AMD, the new Ryzen, same thing, you should put this one at on. If you don't know how many thread you have or cores, just write the uh, name of your computer, uh, the name of your CPU in Google. Uh, the first link will be Intel or AMD depending on your uh, CPU and you can see the spec of your CPU. They will tell you what you have. So that's about it for uh, the in-game setting. The only thing that uh, you need maybe to test is the in the setting over there. Scroll down. By default, a replay recording is at on. Uh, this can give you issue if you have like a slow hard drive or even a, like a really old computer. So put this one at off and do your testing. It can help you a lot with stuttering. So now let's go in the config file. So for the config file, uh, to find your config file, you need to go in your C drive, users, the name of your computer, app data. This will be hidden by default with Windows, so make sure that you're seeing your hidden folder. Local, Fortnite game, save, config, Windows client. After that, I will just change something to make sure that I can save. Double click on your game user setting and here you will have all the parameter inside of your game. So two things that you will need to change is your show grass put false over there. By default is that true? And the other thing is scroll a little bit down, go to foliage quality. By default is that tree put zero over there. When you're done, click file, save, click X and make sure that this folder, this file will be blocked. So you don't want the game overriding your settings, so click Properties and click Read Only. So in that case, uh, the game can't override my settings. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question about this video, uh, post me in the video description, in the video, sorry, comments. Uh, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, everyone.